Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video tonight um, discussing not about the star seed movement, more so about the specific agendas, more about the specific agendas that are being put out. And I've been watching uh, videos on YouTube, uh, mainly people like uh, Alex Ansari and Osik Osif Um I, I subscribe to them, but I was recently listening to a video that Alex did uh, earlier this morning, and he was talking about how... Um, He's talking, he had a title on his video saying, uh, when women use technology to replace men, and it's, it was very interesting to hear what he had to say about that, because, and it made me think about, because I don't, I don't have any children yet, not at the moment. I'm 28 years old, and I still don't have any children, and for a good reason. Because as a crystal child, you you tend to look at everything around you, and you study your environment. You see how everything is upside down. Everything is out of order. And as a young child, I was not, I was not raised in a small city like how I'm living uh, in now. I was raised in a very small town. Some people would highly consider this town a, a ghost town. It really didn't have very many people living there. So I wasn't, as a young girl, I was not exposed to all of this uh, crap that people are going through now as far as the transhumanist agenda goes and the homosexual agenda as well as the feminist agenda as well. See all of these all of these agendas are going on and I highly take notice when you know people are I don't know, it's just it's just an upside down world and I know that as as a young woman, I don't want, and if I were to have a child, I would not want to put my child in this type of situation, or in this environment for that matter. And I was telling myself, oh shit, I, for some reason, I, I had this thought of where I, you know, because I, I see what people are saying, I, I see what the aware people are saying, and it's, it's the truth, because once you've awakened in your journey, and it, the veil, the veil is lifted from your eyes, and you see, you see all of the crap that that is there and when the veil has when the veil has not lifted from your eyes you are you are blind or you are misled to believe that it is something that it is truly not yes like Like, for example, it's, it's like this. Okay, so you see, imagine you're like a guy or a woman. 
you see the you see the most perfect uh, male or female right in front of you. Seems like this person has all of the qualities um, that you like, which makes them attractive to you. But as but once you get into this relationship with this person, and time goes on. Um, so it seems that this person is not what you've expected he or she to be at all when you first met them. This, this happens in many, in many situations. <clears throat> this happens a lot to people. And it, the same goes for life. Uh, if you're not if you're not careful and if you're not awakened to the to the many truths that can be presented to you then the veil will continue to shadow over or to cover your third eye or and and your eyes well mainly mainly your third eye because you cannot see what it really is you can't when when the when the veil is over your third eye you can't you can't see it for what it truly is and i was saying to myself oh shit i hope i hope i have a boy because if i have a if i have a boy child then that child will gr will grow up to to basically be like his dad he he'll want to follow in his dad's footsteps and he'll honor and respect me as a mother, of course, but I figure I would I would make this video about why I don't have any children yet. <clears throat> it's because as a crystal child myself or a crystal adult, I I want whatever is humanly possible. I want us to be I want my family to be in, in, an, in an, an environment where he or she is not exposed to all of the fuckery and all of the so-called the so-called um, just fakeness of everything. Everything, everybody, and everybody just seems fake. Everybody just seems like, I don't know, like they're just, um, they just don't acknowledge you. And that's, that's very, it, to me, that's very out of tune. It's very hard on my heart to even see this happen in in this dimension in this matrix that I'm in right now. It's it's hard on my heart. And I I have a big heart. And I want I want my family and my child to be away and safe from all this fake fuckery that's going on in the cities and everything so I mean I was I was raised in a place where I was not exposed to any like cell, kind of cell phone or any kind of like social media um, trendy trendy thing because I, as a young child, I, I simply just, I was not, I was not into that sort of thing. I was not into, like, any social media or just, I mean, I would email people back and forth, you know, when, when computers became a thing, but other than that, I just had no interest in, like, social media or just any drama or, no, or anything like that. And I was raised in an, in an environment 
to where I was always around nature. I was always around animals, so that that really took my interest more than the petty internet goes. So, and I always had this, I always had this wonder, this sense of wonder and enjoyment um, from being outside. I was always outside, uh, just playing in the dirt, playing with animals, you know, and that's, that's how I want my child, that's how I want my child to be raised, the same way I was. Not really exposed to much cars going around. I mean, we were always, me and my sister were always in this open kind of, this open area. And we weren't really exposed to many, like, too many cars or people. I mean, we went to school, but other than that. It was away from all of the, the typical, what, what you would call mainstream society and its trends. So, and that's why I don't have a child yet because I want I want him or her to be in a, in an environment to where she he or she is not exposed to all this all this fuckery that's going around right now. And I will, I will raise he or she to respect people, to, to respect nature above, above anything else. Respect, uh, re respect your elders. <clears throat> because I see, I see kids nowadays with their parents and like, they're just letting their kids have the cell phone and play with their the cell phone and they're just having their kids like, just say what they want to say, and it's just like, wow, like, these people just, they don't have any self-restraint or, or willpower for anything. So, if I have a boy, then he'll, he'll grow up to be just like his dad, uh, very strong-willed, taking an interest in what we do most of the time because we'll we'll have it to where I don't know like he's just all he's like I don't know like when he comes of age he'll probably be doing all of all of this physical uh, what you would call physical activities whether it be just I don't know doing archery um, which I love to do. I, I love archery. Um, he'll, he'll be working with his dad, doing something, either welding or, I don't know. Um, you know, taking the truck out to get firewood or something like that. <clears throat> I know I just want to be in a place where I'm not, I'm not in now, so... Somewhere, somewhere kind of like more out in the open, out, out where there's more like forest or uh, just more natural land around us. But if, if I have a girl, then I don't know, that's, it's kind of hard for me to think about because... I'm gonna want I'm gonna I'm going to want to really protect her from all of the fuckery because it just seems like when well general generally speaking in today's society women have been mentally mind fucked and it's 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 obvious I mean I don't know. Like their parents just let them go on the internet and just do what they want to do and they're exposed to the fuckery. And so they they try to they I don't know. They they try to 
women are more exposed to bullshit on the internet and on social media. And so most of these little teenage girls, they, they try to be somebody that they're not. Because, because they see them as cool or they see them as the hip thing that the other girls are into. So they, they're getting mind tricked or they're getting, um, mind controlled to where they're seeing this person on the internet and they notice that the other girls are, are doing what, um, you know, they're doing what they see on the internet as cool or hip or something, whether it be wearing skimpier clothes or just, I don't know, they're just, you know what I mean, so, it's just, this world is not meant, this world is not meant for women, if you, if you think in, t in your mind that, you know, the, the pure-hearted, the pure-minded woman is very, very rare nowadays. It is. And that's why I, I would want to protect my, my girl child if I, if I have a girl. I, I'm gonna, I'm going to want to protect her so much. Hopefully not to the point to where it goes crazy, but I just, I don't want to see her and go, I don't want to see her going, going into the direction of the fuckery. I, like, I just, I don't. But I think with a male child, like, it, it would be easier for me to just ease up a bit about what he, what he would, what he was, what he's going to do when he reaches, um, at adolescence or, um, teenage, uh, year. His teenage years. So, yeah, I just wanted to make a video about that. This, this was something that was, that was on my mind tonight, so I wanted to get it out. Alright, you guys. Stay safe and, um, have a good rest of your month of January.